The United States government sent its first warning to the government of Kenya on May 4th, 2017, where it gave undisclosed specific conditions that it needed to be met urgently or else the United States would suspend funding to the Ministry of Health. Four days later, it advised its implementing partners in another letter to stop their service and goods delivery to the Kenyan government with immediate effect, saying that funds would not be sent out throughout the period of the suspension. What we are doing is again simply suspending some of our assistance that goes directly to the Ministry of Health for certain technical work that they do. That drop in the ocean, according to the United States Embassy, translates to approximately 21 million US dollars, exactly 2.1 billion Kenya shillings, in assistance to the Ministry of Health. The overall US health investment in Kenya exceeds 650 million US dollars, or 65 billion Kenya shillings annually. A U.S. embassy statement also says that they are working with the Ministry of Health on ways to improve accounting and internal controls. C.S. Mailu in his statement says that the ministry is addressing matters raised in the internal audit, investigations following a quality assurance audit by the National Treasury. He goes further to say that EACC and the Kenya National Audit Office are autonomous institutions undertaking investigations whose outcomes will inform further action. Mailu recognizes that investigations by the EACC and the KNAO are outside the purview of of the MOH. U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Robert Godek, seeking to allay fears on the future of a project that has provided affordable health care to millions of Kenyans for more than five decades. We are not suspending any assistance that goes directly to Kenyan citizens, to, to patients, to people who need health care. So, for example, the million Kenyans that receive antiretroviral drugs um, because of the support of the United States, there will be no impact on them. They will not be affected. We are not suspending that assistance. Ambassador Gordek, who has termed the measure as temporary, has also noted that the ordinary Kenyan will not feel heavily the effects of the suspension. Seven activities will be affected by the suspension of funding that the United States government has not been clear on how long it will last, even after the conditions set have been met. Salaries and wages of all global health security agenda and President's emergency plan for AIDS relief staff will be stopped. The management and operations cost at the Ministry of Health, domestic and international travel, meetings and workshops, communication support and supplies and national program support by implementing partners are activities that will be affected. This has nothing whatsoever to do with Kenya's election. Only two areas and activities have been exempted from suspension. Activities related to life-saving prevention and treatment outbreak or emergency response capacity and activities that directly strengthen county health systems, surveillance and service delivery. With millions of shillings in donor funding hanging on the line, it will take more than just a statement from the Cabinet Secretary of Health to assure international donors that their hard-earned money does not end up in individual pockets. The USID decision is only just a tip of the iceberg, with many more claiming that as things stay as they are, then they will be forced to cut back or go away completely. Leila Mohamed, NTV, Nairobi.